so so did you um join the navy yes. sort of as soon as the war started yeah well i was a reserve when i come home whenever i was 18 my brother-in-law he wanted to be a, a reserve too you see but you're supposed to be a qualified a fisherman or attached to the sea. Yeah. But of course anybody, if you said it, they would never get a find out you never seen the sea, never been to anything else. My brother in law, he was a plumber and he wanted to get in the navy because he didn't want to wear a kilt. Didn't want to be a kilt, he didn't want to be a soldier. So you what did you have to wear a kilt so if the you were day, in the, the the day after I was eighteen he says, what have we joined the reserves? And the twice went in the winter was, I joined the reserves, what have And that was my name, start of my naval career. So how long was it before you were called up? Hmm? How long did it take before you were called up? Well, uh, I joined, I joined that on April 11th, and I was called up in September, same year. So what, uh, did, were you aware of, um, like how aware of you, how aware were you of the sort of gathering oh, story? Oh, you knew what was coming. Yeah. Yeah, you knew what was coming. That was long foretold. So, uh... Oh, no. that, the, the Nazi war, that was on the books that you there when the happened. So what was the... What was the start of the process when you were called up? What happened then? Well, I went to we went to look to Portsmouth. That was my base, and you got a, a started training, just regular training, marching and what have you. And then, when a ship come up, there would be a batch of you sent to a ship, and that would be your next ship. So the first ship I got was a converted liner the Rampura, PNL B and I. And went to go out to India to pick it up. So I, we left it early September, put the middle of September and by the new year I was out in India aboard the Rampura. Aboard the what, sorry? Uh, eh? What was what was the ship called? An arm uh, Rampura. She was an armed merchant cruiser. She was a, uh, the all the big liners that were big enough were armed arm with six inch guns and turned into cruisers for escort duty. That was her job. So you were escorting merchant ships, yeah. taking food and yeah, stuff. Yeah, we knew right? that. Uh, and then we worked for a while home, and then for then till. Uh, Still aboard the same ship. Uh, I went back to the east and then, then I went to transfer and I was transferred to patrol vessel. Stayed with that for another three years. Why, did you, why did you want to transfer? Because I was tired of the same. Just bored of the same routine? Yes, doing the same thing. As far as we are in a little ship, you got merchants again and queer little places. So you just wanted to go and see new interesting yeah, places yeah. and stuff. What was the most interesting place you went to? Most interesting. Yeah, or you know, if there are a few. Well, Bombay. Bombay. Yeah, but then you see, you didn't have much money. <laughs> money was always a. a Whole bar. You were only getting 14 bob a week. That's how you had. So I didn't, didn't go far. I didn't, didn't go far. <laughs> did you get um, Did you get time off for sure, like to sort of go and explore? <laughs> you got. <coughs> 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 when you were <coughs> regularly. <coughs> 
at the base. When you come in, you got the first night to shore, then the next night you had to take so much of the patrol duty off the, off the shore crowd, and you did that until you got the, did another trip and you come back to the same thing. It was just being there and that ready to get on the way at uh, moments of us. <coughs> Do you want a slap on the back? A drink. Drink, drink of water. I try right. <coughs> when you were in, in the Navy, you were in the home fleet. I was going to hit this background. When you were in the Navy, you were in the home fleet. And that ruled passing up to the Mediterranean. And then when you went out past the Mediterranean, you was in the Eastern Fleet. So once you went there, you was there, you could see for two or three years, just patrolling back and forth. How long were you out there? Hmm? How long were you out there? Well, I went out in 30, uh, 39. That in England at the New Year, and it was forty, uh, forty-two. So did you? Um, do you? Were you just there the whole time? For come back, I returned, and then you come back. We did a refit, and then we were stationed in in Canada, Halifax. For a minute, that's where we were based, convoy and across out, another three years there. Okay, so was it, did you get any, like, leave to come home? Oh, yeah. very little. <laughs> you, you did get leave. I had 39 days for, for uh, three years. Him, up to a year. Uh, so where else did you go when you were on the Eastern Patrol? Oh. So you said Bombay? Round, all round the islands, Madagascar, uh, seashells. Uh, so these islands off the coast of Africa? Yeah. And you, you, they were just on the. You went round to take a supply ship down here and there and guard it as it went around the area. Because there was quite a lot of Japanese. But What's that? Very lucky, I would say. Oh, lucky. Yeah. So, um, how how did you did uh, did you enjoy it, or was it how how was it like day to day? Well, it was just like an ordinary job. You was the, the main thing was maintenance of the ship, screwing and painting and what have you, keeping the ship looking half half respectable. And out in the uh, in the ocean, they were pretty easy to keep clean. You just did your daily routine, capture watches. How did you how did you keep yourself entertained? Eh? How did you keep yourself, like, entertained? How did you have fun on the ship? Well... Oh... Well, there, there, there was... You can play cards, you can... Just on a game of cards. Crib. Cribbage was a great game. Did you, uh, I, I seem to remember you telling me something about music. Doing musical things on there. Did you have uh, one of your instruments? No. No? Not for a long time. Did, it, did anyone else have anything like that, or was it... No. You didn't want to make... I didn't like to... There was a, a set crowd, you see, and I, did, I didn't want to crowd, crowd down with them. What, the people who played so music? If that's why, I just to give them a song. 
That was it. Why didn't you want to I didn't go... know what to get really involved, to be quite honest. Why didn't you want to get involved with them? Oh. If you, if you got into it, you more or less put yourself... If they, if they wanted to do a thing, you had to get into it. You couldn't have buckled. So you're too independent. Yeah. They never like to be tied to, to an if specific thing, if possible. So uh, Dad, Dad was telling me you used to get in trouble because uh, when you were at school, their teacher had taught you signalling. And so you were supposed you were taking down the signals, but you weren't supposed to actually be able to understand the signals. Is that right? Mm -hmm. What was the story behind that? Mm -hmm. What was the story behind that? Why did you get in trouble? Well, <clears throat> you see, when I just went through, you joined the navy as an ordinary seaman, and then you did do two year and pass a just a, not a, even a written exam, for an A.B. That brought you, if it was later me, that was for 18 to 20. And then for 20, you could volunteer for a leading hand or what have you, and you just took it to stages, if you wanted to. You just, you didn't get automatic promotion, you volunteered for it, more or less. Sent aside an exam and passed it. Once you passed it, you got your badge. That was good for seven days' leave. Ah, it was just a slow progress, progress uh, moving people through the ranks of the Navy. And once you was aboard the ship, you see, you was there. If you did, it was at least two and a half years. At least two and a half years. But the war time, it could be, could be anything. It could be short, it could be, if they were needing men somewhere else, and your ship was sort of like a nade being used, they could draft men for you. Hello. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. They, they could home. draft men for you. Uh, You're back. Did you? Did you no, no, I, I volunteered. Good, 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 good. For a lead in the hand. Well, good. I didn't have volunteered. The, the, oh, I joined, fine, fine, uh, fine. It's uh, being interviewed the by Thomas just now. Uh, uh, I can, I can pause it. It's fine. Uh, uh, Thomas says you could pause, so that's fine. <laughs>